We are live. Historically Haunted Vodcast. What is going on, guys? We are back with another great guest tonight. It's actually someone I've never met, um, but I feel like I've known him because I've known him for a long time uh, on Facebook. He's followed me around. He's like my stuff. He's, he's commented. He used to call me boss a lot. Um, basically, it's Paul Dixon. I'm sure a lot of you in the field know Paul. Most of you, I mean, we have like 90, fuck it, 300 of you mutual friends in common or something. But Paul uh, Dixon, he's an investigator. Um, he's investigating for a little over 30 years now. He's been doing it a long time. He's about 16 years old when he started, so that gives you any idea. He started with his aunt and her group of paranormal investigators in the Burlington County of New Jersey, where he's located. Uh, when he got, in, uh, got a little bit older, he started to freelance, kind of did his own thing, and then he ended up starting two groups of his own, BCPI and Paranormal 66, like Route 66. Excuse me. They're both based out of Burlington County, New Jersey as well. He's done le uh, lectures. He's done fundraisings with both groups. Of course, he's in it for, for, for the fun of it, but he's in it to help raise awareness and just to help people as well. Um, he's also had the, uh, the privilege to accompany the um, many mediums, especially the New Jersey medium who he works with. But he's also done a, a lot of other ones just on searches, different things, working with uh, law enforcement, actually, believe it or not, on some cases and stuff like that. Families working on cases. Uh, in his free time, basically, he's off uh, with close friends and family in the mountains of Pennsylvania. I love that. I went to the Allegancy Mountains over there by, um, I forget the, the heck it is now. Uh, what's that? Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, Cape Cod, Massachusetts, where Jaws was filmed. That's my neck of the woods. And he's usually just at home enjoying his time, maybe having a beer, hanging out. So fucking A. Enough with the intro. Paul Dixon. Hey, what's up there, Adam? I'm glad to be on. Glad to have you, man. Like I said, uh, we've been Facebook friends for a long time. And instead of just friends, like numbers, like we actually co- like you'll comment on my things on my stories or things like that's cool. Great post boss. And that's cool. And then I see your shit and you're off in your own world doing your own thing in your neck of the woods. So, so let's talk. I'm going to jump right into it. We have no one kind of coming on now. It's uh, a little early, so that's fine. It's going to be all on YouTube tomorrow and everything. People can catch up, but I want to start by saying uh, basically like how you say you started at 16. Was it, was it like a movie? Was it because your aunt was into it and she told you about it? Was it just something that happened to you? What turns you on to this? field <laughs> well actually i was always interested in, in in the paranormal ever as long as i could remember but um it wasn't nothing that actually brought me into the paranormal it was just i was born into it and when you're raised into it it's, it's like as long as i can remember i remember like my aunts and my uncles and um they, they would go out and they would come back and tell stories of what they they captured and and what they got on well then it wasn't evps it was uh cassette players and I would sit there. Yes, and I would just, old school. Yeah, and, and and I still do old school today with with some new technology. But uh, I would I would just listen, and it's like I always wanted to go out, and I kept asking my, "Can I go? Can I go?" She's like, "Nope, you're too young. You're too young." But as soon as I hit sixteen, she looked at me. She said, "It's time. It's time." Uh, and uh, and I haven't been stuck. I I haven't slowed down yet. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. She's uh, she kind of annoyed you in. I mean, of course, eighteen, but sixteen is pretty adultish. And if you have enough respect and you go for it, and you know what's up, um, you can handle it. So, so let's talk uh, about a couple. Of, like, guess what's what are your favorites? What what are your go tos? Um, even if it's not investigating, just is there like a certain graveyard or a certain house you like to just go chill at sometime? Well, that that's that's kind of hard to answer because I've been to so many places and and I, I like different places for different reasons. Um, I think cemeteries, my favorite is my local cemetery, Monument Cemetery, mm. which which brings back memories because that was the first cemetery that my aunt took me to. And I still go back there today, but it, it it's, it's extremely active. And uh, any I, I stories, any, any little myths, stories, legends associated with famous people there buried? No, there's no famous people buried, but uh, we, we did get a good EVP one night. You, and I'm going back maybe 25 years ago. It's been it's been a while. We um, had the old cassette player. We had it up against my great grandmother's tombstone, and I do have a lot of family mem uh, members uh, buried there. So the moon was out. There was a group of us. It was just family, and we were up, up like laying up against the, the fence, and we heard nothing. It was real quiet, just like looking up at the stars, watching the moon. So we decided after an hour, let's play the tape back. So 
we, we decided to leave. We go back to my aunt's house and we're sitting there. So we decided to hear the, to play the tape back. And in the distance, and also we were sitting up against, like I mentioned before, we we're sitting up at the fence, but we were by the main gate, the main entrance. So the, the tape started playing and you could hear like the crickets, all the, the nighttime noises. All of a sudden, everything got dead quiet. So we're like, okay. Next note coming from the cell, like, the, entrance. the main entrance, you could hear somebody in high heel shoes. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, you, and you could hear him, and it sounded like um, whoever was, was a female, was a female energy. And you could uh, hear her walk right past us. And she walked right up to the, the cassette player, and, and she just, it sounded like she just like went right through it. Wow. And then, yeah. And then once she walked through it, you could hear like it started like she was walking away. You could hear her go further and further away. All of a sudden, you heard a voice say, Martin, where are you? And all of a sudden, you heard a male voice say, here. Oh, dude. Yeah. They're yeah. communicating with each other right in front of you. These two spirits. Yeah. That are probably Wow. Uh, real quick, yeah, and- uh, Facebook user. That's Nathaniel Elwell from, from New Hampshire. You know Nathaniel? He does a no. lot of uh, YouTube. He says, well, he says hi to you and me. He's a big uh, part of the New England side of the field. But, wow, no shit. She's calling for her away. partner or her sister, maybe her brother, I don't know, her wife, her husband, whatever. And there's an answer back here. Wow. And then, and then, yeah, and then, and then once we heard here, after that, you heard, like, it, it went back to, like, the normal stuff, the crickets and everything else. It was awesome. It's and like she, she, had- she found him. With him yeah. saying here that she found him, that's okay. She found yeah, him. And uh, yeah, that, that cemetery, a lot of cemeteries I feel comfortable in, but then there's a few that you don't feel comfortable in, and that's one of the cemeteries. That's my favorite cemetery. I mean, it's, it's, it's extremely active, but it brings back memories <laughs> of when I first started. So, Well, I got to ask you, Paul, would you say, look, you don't feel welcome here? Do you believe you're sensitive? Do you believe that you can kind of like not so much an empath, but like you can kind of pick up on that bad energy, bad aura, or just not being wanted? I guess because I know what you're saying. Kind of sometimes you get freaked out. And you're not sure if it's you're freaking yourself out, or is there someone telling you get the fuck out of here? <laughs> you know. Well, my my aunt, uh, the one who started the the first paranormal group, Van Hogger, in in our county. She um she's a medium. And we, we have a couple of family members that that's either medium or psychic. I was able to, when I was younger, um, see things. And I usually don't talk about this much, but you, I'll, I'll explain it to you. Um, I was able to see things when, when uh, I was younger, but I didn't understand what they were. And I was able to astro project. Ooh. And I thought, and I thought they were like, weird dreams because i used to get aggravated because i used to when when i was younger i used to be able to like float down steps or or next thing you know i'm in someone's living room and i would only go like a certain speed and i used to get frustrated because i I couldn't go faster than what i was going so but i didn't say anything but then when i had um i was investigating i was doing excuse me I was doing a uh, public investigation out in Ohio when I um, got an attachment and I had, uh, yeah, I got an attachment. I had three deliverances and an exorcism done. And thanks to Carl Johnson and another priest, uh, they've, they've helped me through it. And um, ever since then, the, the gift that I had, it's, it's a lot stronger. Um, I don't talk wow. about it much, but that, that brought it out because I, I was told that when God lets you go through an exorcism, he always gives you something extra. So even though wow. I had that then, so it, it's stronger now. So I appreciate I you sharing that <laughs> because that's uh, – if those of you that don't know, real quick, Carl Johnson, him and his twin brother uh, were the ones with the Conjuring House in Amityville before Ed and Lorraine. Um, they work with Ed and Lorraine. They've been around for a long time, the Johnson brothers. Um, one of them Actually, still does stuff with, with James uh, Anito, right? Carl. That's Carl. 
Keith and Sandra, I, I had the privilege. They were the ones that helped me with my my extra my extra. Keith and Sarah Johnson. Yeah, they have they have a mutual Facebook page. I'm friends with them too. Very good people. Very quiet. They don't post a lot of bullshit, but um, nope. and, uh, Drama and you, you say, yeah, and you like you say you have a gift, but everybody that has gifts even needs a little bit of help sometimes. No one's right. going into this right. alone. I'm sorry. Right. And uh, that's a mar wow, that's impressive. Um, so yeah, you you kind of yeah you're kind of born into the witch the witchhood. You kind of it's in your right. blood, so to speak. I mean, you're kind of uh, you know what's funny the astral projecting shit. I didn't even hear about that until I started doing my show. Someone mentioned that, and I go, "What the fuck is that?" Right. And then I started looking into it. That's some wild, wild. It, I mean, it, it is wild because let me let me tell you this, Adam. I, I have two mentors that that I work with that that helps me with my gift. I mean, you go on my page, you're not going to see like you're not going to see this or that like telling people what I am because I, I believe that that you don't have if you're the real deal you don't have to you, so that, and that's why I, I I don't and if you go on like say my my wife's page Tina she with with her um, she's a psychic detective she works with all levels of law enforcement using her gifts and if you go on her page you you won't see it anything about that no, yeah. I didn't see much on no. yours you, you you post things as your page like in your investigations but you're not like you know, tarot card readings. Uh, yes, uh, Nathaniel Elwell. Yes, Carl Johnson from Rhode Island. I don't know if he's still there, but yes, that's the one of the Johnson's brothers, the twin brothers. Um, but anyway, uh, um, so you've you've lived a lifetime in this field. You're not just a sightseer. You're not just one of these guys that goes on the weekends and gets his gummy bears and pizza and goes to a place and then takes selfies and nope. goes and for his TikTok video and leave. You're not. You're you're legit in this and you're making the best of it because whether you like right. it or not, like you say, you're kind of in it. Right. I mean, it's it's a passion of mine. I was born into it. It just to me, it's it's every day. It's my everyday living. It's like a lot of people think when you go and investigate historical places or homes or businesses, you just go in. You, you do your 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 thing and then you just go home and that's it but a lot of people don't understand when you get home you're not done it I mean it's there's a lot to it other than just going in and investigating especially if it falls you home uh, yeah. oh it's Jim Brown you know Jim Brown from Maine Jim and Don Brown that's what it's been no, coming. I don't. I know hey Jim, Jim how are you uh, Jim's very well uh, he is uh, tombstone paranormal um, okay. he has a lot of family from Northampton where uh, New Hampshire's only witch was accused of witchcraft, Eunice Goody Cole, oh. right next to the park there. There's a lot of rocks, and his family is one of the founding fathers, and he's involved. He, he, he's a good dude. He's he got a lot of respect when he goes to graveyards. He researches the names, the people. Uh, so kudos to that. I mean, that's cool that you like that. Um, so what about as far as houses and things go? What's like, uh, or or even, fuck it, even just town? What's a bucket list of yours for, like, America, we'll say? Have you been to Salem or Gettysburg, New Orleans? I've been... Like been I, I tell you what, Gettysburg, I've been to Gettysburg multiple times. You can never get enough of Gettysburg. I love Gettysburg. I agree. I've been, I've, I've been to Salem once. I tell you what, the Northeast is beautiful. I love it up, up that way. Um, on my bucket list, I, I would like to I would like to do Alcatraz. Oh. I would like to. I would love to uh, investigate Hollywood in general. That part of California is pretty wild. You get the Cecil, you you get the the Winchester House, the Queen Mary, Alcatraz. Yes. You get, yeah, buddy, the Whaley House in San Diego, and then you get just uh, the graveyard where where Hugh Hefner's buried next to Marilyn yes. Monroe. Like, holy fuck! And and it's funny because and Queen Mary, oh my god, that that's that's another one on my bucket list. But Hollywood, it's like ever since I was little, I was always drawn to celebrities or or singers that die tragic for some odd reason i don't know why i mean i, I ever since i was little i mean I, I i've read about now i'm aging myself a little bit i used to like read different stories about like uh sex symbol jane mansfield who was killed in uh a car accident in the late 60s barely talked and, about it anymore that's a great drop yeah mansfield yeah. they still don't really know what the fuck went down just like the black dahlia yeah that's another one um there's a monument Hollywood to her in Massachusetts. Then. She was born in Massachusetts. Uh, there's a monument to her. I think it's in like Worcester or some shit like that. I, I haven't been yet, but really, fuck, I got to look yeah. that up. Because if you're going, to, if you really go to Martha's Vineyard? Is that yeah? That's cool. Because uh, I've been where? I'm sorry. 
Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. Never you been put, there. right? Never I thought been you there. put that you went there. You you had to hang out there. Or is that another place? I, I I've been to Salem. I've been to, um, let's see here. I'm going back years. I, I've been to like small towns and like up in like Massachusetts and all that. Excuse me, but Martha yeah. Vineyard. I've never been there. Love to go there. Oh. Oh, Cape that, Cod. That's, that's what you put. Cape Cod. Fucking Cape Cod. That's Cape Cod. Put. Yes. 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 Which is kind of close, I'm, dude. I'm surprised you didn't. I thought I there was know. the same thing, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Hollywood, I would just like to park my butt right out there for like a year and just investigate yeah. everything that that's there. I mean, if, if if Travel Channel ever did a television show one night, that's a whole season in itself. Whole you, season. You take the lore. You take the lore and then you take the street vendors and the gangs and the drugs and the mob. Then you take the Hollywood sign where people have committed suicide off of yes, and been yes. shot. The fucking Hollywood yes. sign alone could be haunted. Then it is haunted. Yes. It is haunted. It, yes. It is haunted. Someone hung themselves with the fucking thing off the top raptor. Um, I forget mm -hmm. who. Do you know who? Do you remember who? Um, there's also an actress. Um, she, was up for, she was up for a, 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 a movie role, which she uh, got turned down. She was very depressed. Peg Entwistle is her name. Oh, and uh, she, uh, yeah, she was, she got depressed and, and she kept getting turned down. So she decided to try out for this uh, Broadway play and uh, she didn't hear nothing. So she, she got uh, You're right, Jim. more. Yeah. She, yes. That's well, that's what uh, Paul's mentioning is this, is this young female get that I had a role and, Pretty yeah. much said, "Well, fuck it. I'm gonna if I'm gonna yeah. live in Hollywood, I'm gonna die by Hollywood." Literally, the sign. Yeah, and her name was Peg Entwistle, and then she decided to climb up top of the sign and jump. She committed suicide, but what she didn't know was that at the same time she committed suicide, there was a letter in the mail stating that she got the part for this play. Yeah. Oh, that poor girl. I know, but this <laughs> is stuff I've been drawn to ever since I was little. Don't tell me that the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, most suicides, they made a documentary, The Bridge, it was called. It was all about suicides, jumping off the bridge. California's got the glitz and glamour, but there's a very dark side. Uh, the mob yes. used to run it, and they say all these different, like, supposedly, I mean, if you really get into it, I don't know how you are in conspiracies, but I've read about the Illuminati, these baby killers that drink baby blood to stay young and shit, and have these big orgies with a bunch of guys and girls. Hollywood people are fucking nuts, dude. Cocaine yeah. and just... Yeah, young people get taken advantage of. You look Corey Heyman, them motherfuckers, dude. And it's kind of mystical because I love movies. I'm a big movie location buff. I love to go to Warner Brothers a lot. But oh, there's some crazy shit, too. I think, Paul, you're right, Paul. Um, there's even monster scene, man. There's monster scene in the water and uh, different beasts in the California deserts and shit. Cali's a cool state. Yeah. I've never been, but that's a good answer. Wild West, even, right? You dig yeah. that shit? Yeah. But I think that I think that I think uh, Hollywood is the top. Yep, you were right, Peggy. Uh, mm -hmm. Ent Entwistle, you're right. Ent Entwistle. Entwistle. And yeah. it's a shame. So Hollywood. I've never heard that. Everybody always says Transylvania or New Orleans and Gettysburg, which is great. It's always the same old, right. same old. But same no old. one's ever seen Hollywood, brother. Yeah. Yep. And New Orleans. That that's that's got a lot of darkness around it too. New Orleans, but. Nope, California is where I want to go. That's killer. And not just for the fucking guacamole and burritos and girls in bikinis, which is always a plus for all that. But at the same time, no, man, there's some lore there. Um, I'm going to ask you a question. This is people in chat. You guys feel free to ask him a question. He definitely doesn't bite. You can ask me or him a question or whatever. Um, where do you go with um, – because you're kind of you, – I noticed on a couple things on the bottom that you're big into uh, – no pun intended, but big into Bigfoot. You like your monsters yes. and shit? Yeah, that's kind of yes. cool. I dig that. Yeah. I'm you a big, big experience, or you just really Bigfoot like it? Ball. Well, I, I've had two experiences uh, with Bigfoot. Actually, we were, um, when I was younger, we lived in the, the Pine Barrens in New Jersey, uh, home of the oh, Jersey Devil. Yeah, yeah. it's out of my bucket list. Oh, Pine Barrens, fuck. Oh, man, you kidding me? You gotta it's come right there. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> you got you to come down. I only live like 40 minutes from the Pine Barrens. Look, I'm in Maine, dude. I can get to New Jersey in like four hours, probably. I mean, it's yeah. Connecticut, the other side of Connecticut, isn't it? Or you go through New York a it's, little bit. It's about about four, what, four or five hours from Connecticut. 
three hours, four or five hours, something like that. Day trip. Well, last year, last year you were Eastern, uh, Eastern state. All the Corona stuff. I ended up going with my buddy. I went with Chris Sanders twice to Iowa. We came back, came back to Gettysburg. Then went to, yeah, came back to Pennsylvania. And I've seen that you like Pennsylvania. And I was trying to think the Algamy Mountains. You know what that is? The Algamy. It's right by Gravity Hill. Now I'm not familiar with that. It's in Pennsylvania. You know what Gravity Hill is? You, your car rolls uphill and you put it in neutral. It's like an optical illusion. We tried it out. It works. It's really fucking Does it fucked work? up. I'm, not I'm fast. You put your car in neutral and it'll roll about a good two miles an hour and it looks like you're rolling uphill at a slant, but it's actually not. It's the way that the land's position. It just looks like it the way. Holy Going shit. to H.H. Holmes' grave, he was he was brought and killed in uh, Pennsylvania at the Eastern State Pen, and then they got buried him in Yeadon at Holy Cross graveyard. And then we saw, of course, Eastern State Pen. And uh, what else did I see? Oh, we went to uh, shit. Uh, Evans City, Pennsylvania, where they shot the Night of the Living Dead, the old zombie movie. Coming to get you, Barbara. So that we spent some time in that. We had a little tracked out thing. You dig oh, that man. shit too? What do, you, what do you like for movies, dude? Do you like the new horror movies? I like horror movies. I'm a big fan of uh, the Hammer Horror from the late 50s, 60s. Yeah, my like, mom was into that. Yes, yeah, Creature like, Feature, Hammer Horror. Wow. Yeah, I like Universal Monsters. Of course, I like Halloween. I, li- I like those movies. I like Friday the 13th. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I got a rock. Yeah. <clears throat> but that's, I, I mean, like but, that. but I, I could see you being a documentary guy too. You like the stuff that's based on a true story, I bet. Yes, yes. Yeah. That's, that's the only thing other than horror movies and all that. I do like comedy movies though. I, I do like some comedy movies. Um, but uh, I do like, I, I do like uh, documentaries. One, of course. Bigfoot and Loch Ness and, of course, paranormal ghosts. Um, of course, uh, celebrities, like I mentioned earlier, that was killed in, like, tragically. Um, oh, I know what else. Hold on a second. Hey, one second. Don't go, don't, don't do nothing. I'm going to, one thing I'm going to bring on camera and I'll show you what else. You know what else Paul likes? Wrestling, yep. Charlie. Hey, hey, Adam. Oh, he's got her. He's got Lily. Oh, I got yeah. Lily at home. I got Heather, Charlie, and I got Lily. I love it. Fucking grown man with a doll, voodoo doll. I, I figured we were going to talk a little bit about WWE, so I figured. Actually, this is Tina's. She got this one. I got the. Uh, now you know I'm a big fan of Becky Lynch's, and I know you're not though. You're a big fan of. Uh, I respect her. She's one of the four horsewomen. She's great. Yes. The Irish lash kicker. I can I can respect her. Yeah, but you like Alexa. I like Alexa, and I really, really like um, Nikita Lyons. Holy fuck. The blonde chick from NXT. Yeah. Now, I'd say I don't watch too much of NXT. How's that? Is I like it because if you, if you notice, a lot of these people are coming up. Uh, now on the roster that are from NXT. Oh, we get some people chiming in now. They always, there's always some late ones. Megan, how's it going, Megan? That's a good friend of mine from Maine. I've known her for a while. Thanks for um, hey, Megan, coming in. Are you? Me and Paul Dixon. Uh, Paul's an investigator. He's a researcher. He's uh, overall just a great guy, and he's a founder of a couple. Oh, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you. So what does that stand for? Your, your uh, paranormal BCPI? Team. Yeah. Burlington County Paranormal Investigations of New Jersey. Fuck, that's a tongue twister. I wonder why you abbreviated it. <laughs> That's, that's why I abbreviated. It's well, uh, I used to have. Are you like, guys on? Are, are you on that, Facebook? I couldn't find much. Are you on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or is it just your personal shit? Um, well, you know, it's funny. I, I have a I have a paranormal page. Um, you, they can type in my name and uh, go under freelance paranormal investigator. I'm I'm under that on Facebook. But I have so many followers that follows my personal page, which I tried to get them over to follow me over to my freelance page, paranormal page, but they sort of want to stay on my personal page. So I got to add, you know, paranormal to my personal page and paranormal to my freelance page. Yeah. Trying to bounce it out because I got followers on both. Yeah. No, I mean, that makes sense. It's good. And that's what I just want to do. I want to give a shout out. Like I said, um, this will be on my YouTube channel, Historically Haunted. 
I got like 195 subscribers and it, all my archive videos. It'll be on my Facebook page for Historically Haunted Vodcast. Um, your wife right there, she want to peek her head and say hi? She can. And I always have people bring on their spouses, especially if they're in the field, dogs and shit even. I don't care. If they want. That well, Actually, I asked her and she's really not feeling too well. Um, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, always another time. I've got some people that are camera shy. I've got some people that get sick. And, man, it's whatever, man. It's no pressure. I'm having a blast talking to you, man. I feel like I've known you my whole life. I feel like you're like a high school buddy that I'm just catching right, up with. Right, right. Um, what's what's your sports team? What's your sports shit besides wrestling? You got any team? I like, I like baseball. I like you, baseball. Uh, I like Yankees? I like them all. I, like I know a lot answer. of people. I know a lot of people look at me crazy, but I can sit down. I can watch baseball all day. All day. All day. I root for them all. I love that answer. I love that genuine just – because you can't – people go, I fucking hate the Yankees. Like, well, if you don't have a rivalry, what's a good sport? I love when they go against each other. You know, like Bears, my team, the Bears. Where is it? Right here. Bears and Packers, Chicago Bears. And I can watch football, and, then, and I love baseball, especially live crack of the baseball – Bat, a beer, and some popcorn, dude. You're sitting and you're watching them just run around. They give them the fucking sign. Yo, hey, uh, blah, blah. fucking, I love that. I love sport. And it brings you back to the old Greco Roman times when they used to yeah. do that shit. Lacrosse, right? Football, shit like that. Um, oh, we got all right. You got to get a follower. Jim Brown's going to follow your page. Killer. Oh, thank you, Jim. And, and I'll follow him back, too. I'll follow him back. Tombstone Paranormal. That's good. Jim's a good person to have on your side when I got my car accident. He donated some money and some shirts and all that other shit or whatever it was. So um, good people. Um, so let's talk about, I want to talk about overseas, man, uh, or or out of America. What's your bucket list as far as that goes? Oh, uh, Ireland, man. England? Ireland. Ireland. And well, I like England. I, I just want to go to Ireland. My biggest, I just want to go to Ireland. I, I want to, I want to hit all the pubs. I want to investigate every castle that I can get into. Yeah, I was waiting for the castle talk. When he said, you said oh, Ireland, yeah. I go, it's going to be a castle. Um, and the pubs, no one ever talks about that. Not only because they're good drink, but these fucking pubs date back to like 1500, 1400 yeah. shit. I mean, yeah. we're talking like, yeah, the witch chasers back then drank yep. these pubs before they went out chasing the witches. Um, where do you stand on that shit, dude? You believe that shit at all? Witches and stuff? You follow that? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I followed it all. You seem like you're all over the place. That's cool, Ireland, dude. You want to go to the vet? Go. I mean, of course, you want you. He, disclaimer: He wants to drink after the investigation. He doesn't drink before the investigation. Disclaimer. Nope, that's a big. That's a big no no. That's a big no no. Never drink before an investigation. Never, never. I take a couple hits to kind of cool my head because I'm. This is I got medical card. I smoke weed all day long. Right, right. So I take a couple hits just to norm myself up, but I'm not dropping acid. I'm not doing shots of Jagermeister. I have a little bit more respect than that. So. But, uh, oh man, this is fun. castles that yeah, pubs, and, and I like it when when I go and investigate. I don't want to know nothing. I don't want to know no history. I just want to be able to walk through, see what I get, do my investigation. But I, I mean, I have people that does the history to compare to to what I get after. Oh, cool. Hell's worth. Yeah. What's up, Chad? Chad runs a podcast too. That's cool, and I, I, I can see. I'm gonna get a little naughty here, and I'm gonna say you're just like me. You're a toucher. <laughs> I like to go to these places, dude, and I touch the old wood. I yep. touch the walls. I touch the basement if it's got rocks. When I go to Salem, dude, I'm fucking going through the streets, practically doing swan dives. I fucking love that stuff, and I can tell that you respect it and love it too. Yes, um, it's not bullshit and trying to get TV shows and fame. It's literally just it's. It's unless yeah. you literally are like Zach Baggins, this isn't a high paying job. <laughs> it's kind of on your own dime. You don't get uh tax write offs for traveling to fucking sanatoriums, you know. So yeah, you gotta be dedicated, man. That's killer. Yeah. That's killing your old ladies in it. You got any kids? Do I? I have a stepdaughter. She into it at all? Um, no. Yeah, I got no kids either, and we got, I got a my daughter, my girl's got a kid. She's kind of into it, but she's fairly younger. Well, you know what? Um, yes, I, I think sometimes I think certain subjects, um, she she like she'll watch something on TV or, but not like all the time. But not like Tina and I. 
There's, there's the normies. Like, right now, everybody's all fucking gun-ho, all getting nipples hard all about it. Wow! Ooh, they got stuff at right. They have pumpkins. They're all, ooh. Everybody's all living it. And I'm like, I'm like that all year long. And they're like, oh, my God. So now everybody, I'm getting messages from people I barely talk to all year long. What's a good haunted place in Maine? And I always do the same thing. I'm like, yeah. The fucking Portland headlight, Portland headlight, Portland headlight, Portland. I am giving you my fucking secret to do part timers. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I mean, I don't try to be a dick, but it's like, man, we work hard for this stuff and we only get appreciated one or two months out of the year. Yep. And the rest of the time, we're the fucking oddballs, you know? Yeah. So, whatever. It is what it is. Let's see. Um, I like to do the history after. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what Paul was saying. He see, I'm different. I'm the I'm the researcher historian. I like to go in it, know yes. what's up. If someone says it's Mr. Smith, I go, holy fuck, Steve Smith from 1812. He died of a fucking hemorrhage. And the, but there's people like Paul or Jim or whatever that have gifts or want to kind of just kind of play right. along and try to feel what they feel before that. And that's I love the yin and yang a part of it. Yeah, but I like the places you, know. you go to because I follow. I, I follow you like every day. You go to some incredible places, though. I'm oh, like, holy shit. You know what's yeah. funny, man? <clears throat> After my mom died, and then, of course, I got my car accident and, 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 and pretty much died for a little bit. And, and Heather is my girl's really caring and everything like that. I got no kids. I go, what the fuck? When people, hey, want to go for a ride? I go for a ride. And we stop everywhere. I swear to God, if it's a cemetery or a placard, I'm stopping. And I'll be damned. Maybe it's Maine. Maybe it's New England, or maybe it's just because I'm alert, but almost everything's got a fucking story. I stopped at yeah. a graveyard. This guy said, killed, you know, uh, so-and-so bomb squad killed in action. I go, he was killed by a bomb. Like, that was in fucking Bangor, Maine, where I moved by Stephen King. That's why I'm doing Stephen King shit. I've been all, I've been getting a hard on for Stephen King, but I, I'll meet him one day. He'll come on my show, but I'm doing all his movie sites, pet cemeteries, you see. And uh, fuck it, right? I mean, life's too short. I watch people on YouTube going, and I go, fuck it. It's my state. Why can't I do it? So right. I got Adam the Historic Ghost Hunter. If you guys want to subscribe on YouTube, I'm at 139. Um, I appreciate it, man. I'm, I'm trying so hard to put up good material that's not same old, same old. I notice you go to places, too, that aren't exactly the same shit. You go to places that are right. different. You seem to like I, that, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, when, when you watch a lot of these paranormal shows on TV, it's, it's the same old, same old prisons, you know, all that stuff. and. I mean, I, I, for like I said, I've been doing this for forty years. I, I've done it all, but I, I'm, I'm getting ready to, to go back out, and I'm starting to, I'm going to hit some uh, off the beaten path places, and Jersey's loaded with them. So, so I'm is your, start... is your wife the Jersey medium? Pardon me. You said you work with the Jersey medium. Is that what your wife goes by? Is that her handle, or is that someone else? No, that, no, that's her. That's her. She's um. Okay. Yeah, that's her. But uh. Okay. If you go to her page, now, like I mentioned before, she, if you go to her page, she's not going to, uh, you're not going to see it all over. But she, like I mentioned earlier, she works with all levels of law enforcement. She works with like some of the locals. She works with the state police. She's done some cases with the FBI. She, um, she's found a, a missing girl while she was sitting in her dining room table. And uh, there's a, a young girl that got kidnapped and taken out west. And she was able to tell the police where to find her. And um, they found her, Whoa. but uh, that's, but um, her work, she, she, like I said, her and I, we, we do a lot behind the scenes than what people think we do. So you like, and, 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 and I, and I love what I do. Like, I love the shit that I do, but it's, it's more for self gratification when, yeah. when you're working with police and families. That's literally what like Lorraine and Ed and, and, and people Hans Holzer's did. And that's why they started this field, not yeah. for YouTube likes or YouTube follows or Facebook hearts or, or, or fucking quick videos on paranormal 911. They started this to fucking help people and find answers. And you guys are doing that when you, I've had a couple on a couple girls on here uh, that work with the cops on missing persons cases and murders and shit. Um, that's the real fucking deal, man. You're getting deep involved in life. This isn't bullshit. Mm -hmm. Someone died or was missing and they right. are trusting you. And that's, that can take a drain. What do you guys do to, to unwind? Do you guys have a certain, you must have sage going all over the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. We're, we, we, like, we do like our own little, like uh, ri um, rituals at home. I mean, I, I ground myself. I, I come home and I just like, I zone out. Like I, now I can't speak for Tina cause we do her, th we, we do separate things, but me, I like to come in, like I'm sitting in my office now at home, sit back and I put calm on, I clear everything up. I, I ground myself, make sure nothing comes home with me. Um, 
I mean, I do like a lot of like a lot of personal stuff too, and and I, well, yeah, don't yeah have to I, share. I do like my or that, whatever. I mean, if yeah. you feel whatever you feel comfortable with. I know people got rituals, man. I, I mean, um, because you learned the hard way once, and of course, like with you and her, I think you guys definitely. That's good, man. You take heed. Right. <laughs> and and, and, and not, I mean, there, there's cases. I, I went on some of her cases with her. I mean, there, there's some. Um, I was lucky enough to go on, and then there's a lot that I can't go on. But and, and there's things I've done that she hasn't done. So yeah, we work we work pretty well together. That's cool. I like that. Anybody else in your team or your squad? Um, besides, I guess your aunt, I mean, who you probably can, she still, I don't know if she's still around or not, but do you have any, my, my, my aunt, she, she's 83. She's in a home. As a matter of fact, I'd like to show you something. Um, she gave me a gift that I keep in a, a glass case. Um, I don't know if you saw the, I posted some photos on, on my Facebook page. Um, like I said, she was, she started the first paranormal group in her County in Bronte County in the late fifties. Wow. Long, long before I was born. And, uh, and last year I went to visit her. It was right after, uh, right, well, actually it was right before COVID started. I uh, went to visit her and she had something to give me. She gave me her log book, one of her log books from 1964 from investigations. Ooh. I'm going to hold it up. I, I got to watch open it because it's all falling apart. I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh, oh my God, dude, and, that and is a yeah. gem. I was shocked. I, I didn't think she had any of these. She or she written any, but uh, if you open it up, it's like it's got all her team members, and they're all aunts, uncles, first cousins. Wow, yeah. she's your family's Lorraine, man. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. I mean, that's and see, what does that tell you when it's all family and all close friends, whatever relatives and shit. That's close. You all trust in each other. You all are. That's right. a bond. Right. That right. And you're keeping it going. That's right. Wow. Wow. That's a pretty cool and, little piece of and, history and you know right what? there. And, like I didn't even know. I, I was shocked when she handed it to me, and I asked her why she was giving it to me. But she looked at me. She, she says, "You know," she said, I, "I do." She goes, "You do so much in the paranormal field today." She goes, "So I think you deserve it." So she gave it to me. I was like, I was God shocked. Bless her. Yeah. God bless her. But she's still kicking. She's 83 years old. Still kicking. I bet you she knows some fucking shit. Uh, Nathaniel oh, checks yeah. in. What's up? We had uh, Jim Brown in earlier with Facebook user. We thought you were him, Nathaniel. Yeah, it's all right. You're late. Um, thanks for the link. She got the link to your page. Cassie Oracles and beyond. Thanks for checking in. Um, Nicole's pretty awestruck by that story, um, by that book and stuff. She's uh, um, with me. Uh, we're both in the, uh, the I can't think, <laughs> the Warren Legacy Foundation for Paranormal Research at Lorraine Star, okay. runs, which is kind of cool. I am actually just got labeled the Northeast Historian not too long ago, which is good. And I know that, like, and I appreciate that because I look at you and you follow my shit and you're like, yep. you like it, but then you heart it. Or even in my, my store, I'll get a message you're like, that's cool, boss, or great history, great info. And that means a lot to me, man. I appreciate that because the, yeah, but you're like you, you do a lot of You do a lot of historical places, and I love historical places. I can tell. And, you're right yeah, on it. A couple of years ago, I was part of uh, Reap's Investigations. And we were, and I was lucky enough to be with them where we traveled up and down the East Coast. And we were doing um, historical places. We were doing uh, yes, Sarah. public fundraisers to help raise money for all the historical societies to keep the, the plantations going and oh, all that. Oh, yeah. I, I, I just love historical locations. Which I, I, I love when people do the weekends at the sanatorium and the whatever the fuck. But the thing is, you got to spread the wealth a little bit because all right. these places, 90 percent of these places, even if they're on historical list, a lot of these places need money to survive or they're coming down. And I tell you what, I love Lizzie Borden's house, but God forbid there's a rain, a, a, a fire. It's fucking down. They can rebuild right. it all they want. It's not the same Lizzie Borden house. So try to go. I I don't know. I think I'm like you. I try to spread out a little bit. I don't mind going to the yes. same place, but I want to go to a place new every time. And that's really my goal. I'm going dude. I went to. um I haven't even posted pictures yet, or I just did yesterday. I went to Maine's only uh, official memorial to the Underground Railroad, and it's called the Josh wow. Chamberlain Park. Chamberlain Park, because Chamberlain was our governor, 
and he fought. And he was also the. I went to Bowdoin College in Maine, but he was also um, the uh, Civil War. He won the Battle of Little Round Top in Civil War in uh, Gettysburg. It was the main general that won that battle. So he's named after this park, dude. And there was a house that was there, and they tore it down in 1993. This old guy, John Hoyek. It's like a 1954 house. It was used in the underground railroad. There's a anyway. There's a fucking well right there, man, and in, in the bottom. And that well was in his basement. It was used to hide the slaves in that fucking house. Yeah. That's gone. But the well's still there. The house is gone. It's on the side of a hill, and it's just a well with a with like a black person memorial. It's like a half black person coming out like a big statue. I got pictures. I'll have to show you. But wow. I, I didn't know about it. And then I read up on it. It said that well was used, and that's where the black people hid on their way to Canada through Maine. Like, just mind-blowing shit that we don't see in our textbooks. Um, I know. There's shit everywhere. You agree? I mean, you know that. I agree. Right? I agree. Yeah. Mm. And I love, I love it. And I don't know everything. When someone tells me some new shit, like, I bet you you can tell me so much about New Jersey, like, um, especially, like, when you're in, like, the gangsters and shit, the boardwalk. Sopranos is loosely based off gangs from New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Um, you've seen a lot of shit, my brother, I'm sure, out there, huh? New Jersey, I tell you what, New Jersey's crazy living in. I mean, a lot of shit happens. Like the the Pine Barrens. I mean, there's there's like besides the legend of the Jersey Devil, I mean, you you have where where um where people get murdered from like uh, from like gangs and, and 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 mafia and all that, and and they take and they they bury you out there. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of Bloody folklore, a lot of a lot of uh I tell you what, the Pine Barrens is really freaking creepy, man. I, I've heard it's like the Bridgewater Triangle in Massachusetts. There's satanic rituals there, suicides yeah. there, yeah. Um, kidnapping there, runaways there, homeless camps. I heard there's some crazy shit in the Pine Barrens, and I guess New Jersey mm -hmm. Devil's like the small like they go, yeah, he's the least of your worries if you go to the Barrens, I guess. <laughs> they say he's the least thing you're gonna worry about. Um, and, and the Pine Barrens, they're extremely haunted, extremely haunted. Wow. Yeah. Um, let's talk about some cool shit. Let's get to know the real Paul Dixon, the motherfucker. Let's uh what's your tunes, man? What you go to after or before an event? Maybe you've had a long day, a bad day at work, you put something to cheer you up. It doesn't have to be heavy metal. Everybody says a oh, metal to impress me. I don't care if it's fucking Conway Twitty, man. Just what well, is it? You know what? It's it's funny. You, it's funny you say Conway Twitty, because I, I grew up with the older country. My favorite singer of all times, and I don't care if people laugh or not. I love Dolly Parton. I think you say David Allen Co. I think you say David Allen Co. I like him too. I like him I love too. The, I love, but Dolly Parton, dude, um, biggest hands in the biz. <laughs> Just kidding. She um she had, yeah, no one could sing like Dolly. She was a phenomenal mm -hmm. actress, a beautiful girl. And, and, and I, had the, I had the privilege, I had the privilege of meeting her in person in Philadelphia. Oh, I was able to sit next to her and I got the photos. Of not me not sitting next to her, but I got the photos where I was standing next to her while she was giving an uh, interview. She was at her local country station, 92.5 in Philadelphia. In and I was able to have breakfast with her and, and hang out with her. Shut the front I, door. Yeah. Yeah. 2017, I was, I tell you what, it was a once in a lifetime. But uh, but I listened, I listened to her. I liked her since I was four. Um, I, I liked the 50s. I liked the 60s. I liked the 80s, the 90s. I like uh, soft rock. I like um, I like gospel. I, I like it all except for the the head banging music. <laughs> That's usually what I get. It's always like I like Pantera. I go, ah, give me something else. Um, do, do you dig? Do you dig these people that cross? Like the guy from Stain there, Aaron Lewis went country. The guy from uh, Hooting the Blowfish, Darren Rucker, um, Kid Rock. I like him. Bit. He's good. Do you like that type of shit when they do that? Kid Rock, even like. Where they cross over. I put your yeah. picture away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I don't mind that. I mean, yeah. That's I cool. Don't mind it. I went to Tennessee a long time ago on a road trip, my first time to Gettysburg back in like 2014. We went to Nashville and we went to two D's and we went to like the Johnny Cash Museum. I didn't get oh. to go in it, but we went and buy it. That's on my podcast. Yeah, the Country Hall of Fame, Country Music Hall yep. of Fame. Did go to the Hard Rock Cafe, didn't do a lot. It was kind of like I was with a girl at the time, and her family just 
I don't know. They went to Tennessee for no reason. I guess they didn't want to see any of the good fucking sites. We walked around. I'm like, oh, Johnny Cash Museum. No, okay. Um, te- te- country yep. Country Music Network, CMT or ACMN. No, whatever. So they didn't want. And I'm not even a country fan. I do like some old shit. Like I said, David Allen Coe, Willie Nelson, Merle Haggard, John uh, Hank Williams the first and the third. Yep. It's and good I, too. I like, I like Patsy Cline. Uh, I was just gonna say Patsy when you said doll. You might uh, you must love Patsy. She was a girl actually. They, they actually, they run. Actually, uh, I got top five, and these are oldie country singers. I like uh, Patsy Cline, Dolly Parton, Loretta Lynn, Conway Twitty, Very and I like Reba McIntyre. Reba, yeah. Those are some of the pioneers, especially when it comes to women in country, because yeah. just like everything else, I mean, I hate to admit it, but it's true. I don't hate to admit it, but it's just, it's whatever. Um, women weren't respected in a lot of things, not even really in music. It was just... Aretha Franklin kind of was, I guess, but then for the most part, like it was like, her. oh, you can't do country. Aretha's great. I like her. Um, yeah. Well, this Morissette was okay for the '90s. Some of that shit kind of, kind of started fa- mm. phasing off on me. I was like, eh. Mm. But uh, that's cool. That's cool, man. I dig those answers. It's different. Um, cool. We got about 15 minutes left. Um, you want to give a shout out to anything? Anybody? Any? Nah, just. I, I appreciate the ones who who's coming on and listening and is leaving comments for us. I appreciate all that. Yeah, that's cool, guys. I know, like I said, it usually comes in a little late. That's why I try to. For those of you that missed it, we're talking to Paul Dixon. His name's right there. Um, he's been doing this for a long time. Um, don't want to date him or anything. We'll say about 30 years. When he was about 16, 17 ish, maybe 19. And uh, he, he kind of learned from his aunt, who, who's been doing this even longer. And she's been involved in basically the first paranormal team in New Jersey. And he's been on a lot of sites. And he's just got two of his own teams. So, what do you do for both teams? Do you kind of do you set up meetings? Do you do home cases? Do you guys set up? Like, what do well, you actually, do? actually I, I don't have my teams anymore. I, I decided to go back and freelance. Because when, when uh, I started with my aunt, like I mentioned earlier in her show, uh, I was 16. I worked I worked with uh, my aunt until I was like maybe my early 20s to mid-20s. And I decided since I'm off now, I went on my own. And I still did things with her off and on, but not like before, like before that. Then I uh, I got with my nephew. He, he did his own uh, paranormal group. So I worked with him for a little bit and... This is my nephew that's like the, um, he's my sister's son. So he's like the the next generation after me. So oh, said, very yeah. cool. Yeah. So, and he lives in Pennsylvania. So I said, no. So I said, I'm going to form my own group. So I went back over to Jersey. I formed my own group, BCPI. And then I, I did that for a while. Then I freelanced again. And then I decided to start another group, Paranormal 66. And I did that for a couple of years. I had a total of 22 investigators between wow. both groups and, wow. and, there's, and then i have uh, jason and mickey uh, they were uh with me they've been with me and, and john they, they've been with me for a while so if i decide to do something if i need the extra hands i always reach out to them and, and they still work smart. with me from, from time to time but no, uh, that's that's smart because i mean obviously like you say i mean you got you're a little bit of everything but you're not fully it's always good to have backup there's nothing wrong with having a friend right. that you can go to right. and go, hey Right. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. I agree. Because <laughs> for the most part, it's just me and Heather. I got a friend from New Hampshire yeah. I go with most of the time. But it's just me and Heather. We just go places. And I don't really have a team. We do historically haunted. But as you can right. tell, dude, I'm just like, fuck it. Saddle up, partner. Let's go see what we can't yep. find today. Let's go find a mermaid or right. a Bigfoot fucking shit or whatever. Uh, I want to talk about your Bigfoot stuff. Uh, what happened with your Bigfoot experience or your Sasquatch or whatever? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we never did. Yeah. We never did talk about that. Um I'm going back to the Pine Barrens from 1976, from 1976 to 1980, my parents bought a trailer in uh, Browns Mills, uh, Bel Air Trailer Park. I think it's still named the same. I think it, like, I think it's still named the same, but the trailer park is still there. And at the time I was 10 years old. Now, you know, when you're 10 years old, you got big ears and you're listening to all the grownups talk. I didn't see anything only because I was young, but I heard a lot. Uh, apparently the, uh, the neighbors that lived across the trail across from us had another trailer behind them. And then there was a big field. There, there was uh, one morning the neighbor went out to go start. Bless you. Sorry. Bless you. That's okay. Thank you. 
<laughs> he decided to um, start his car and his headlights flashed out in the park uh, out in the field and he said that he he saw a hairy creature that was about five foot five foot five with red eyes so away. yeah so of course that started to circulate around the trail park and all of a sudden everybody was starting to hear like screams and it was the typical sound just like a typical bigfoot scream and by this time like people were sitting out at night time just to like see if they can hear it that that was like a couple years that that happened and all of a sudden just as quick as it started it stopped I knew it's there was something typical Bigfoot scream, like as like there's a typical Bigfoot, like you'll go, oh yeah, you know, a loon. Um, but for those of you guys listening, I imagine it'd be like a raw, like ah, right, like it's like almost like a mountain lion meets a bear, right? I would think. I mean, it's yeah, gotta be deep. And and it's funny because I, I've had my grandparents come over; they would spend the night just just to just to see if they could hear. It, it was funny I'd seen all these people and and. I didn't like I said, mentioned earlier. I didn't hear anything, but everybody was out real late, and 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 even nighttime where, where people had to be at work the next morning. Oh, they were like glued to their out. Yeah, I mean, to- that's talk of the town, especially where holy shit. Here's a first. I gotta stop you. Hi guys from Tokyo, Japan, and World of Ghost and LSS Japan. Link wow. Secret, Irene Takoyo. Pleasure to thank you for yeah. joining us here. Thank you so much. Well, hello, Irene. Thank you I've for joining never, us. I didn't, wow, that's like, yeah. Uh, Brian, Brian says, What's up? He's from um, Southern California area, Arizona type area. Brian's in all that stuff. Brian's in small mm-hmm. town adventures, uh, three amigos, pair amigos, does some stuff with the searchers. Wow, I got a fucking boner out of that one. Tokyo, we're reaching Tokyo, mama, mama, Tokyo. I'm making it. <laughs> See I what mean, Paul I, I, brings on. Like, I, I've had people. I, I've had people like reach out from from England, send me a messages saying, "It's so good to finally see your face after hearing your name." So apparently, like my name's been getting around over there, and then they finally see my picture. But Japan, wow, that's killer. That's a first for. Uh, uh, let's Is that see. A first for you? Need, yeah, I need. Uh, yeah, I need a cigarette now, Nate. That's a first. Uh, great show. From what I saw, guys, keep it up. Uh, Adam, keep it up. Paul, great conversation. Thank you, Nathan, oh. for joining in. Um, wow. Hell yeah. Thank you. That, that, yeah, from Thank Tokyo. You. That's killer. Uh, many blessings. Wow. Thank you so much for joining us. You're definitely welcome. And please share. And um, you're going to be blushing over here. I feel like it's fucking Halloween and Christmas together. Just had an orgy. And I'm their son. Wow. Japan. <laughs> wow. wow. That's killer. Yeah. I didn't know. I, I had no clue. Um, shit. Caught me off track now. So we got about 10 minutes. We're going to keep it going, maybe a little bit over. If you don't mind, it's because we have some special, special guests and comments. I'm sorry, guys. Everybody from America, you're all great, but that's, you know, Tokyo, man. That's really cool. <laughs> now, now, <laughs> that's, that's are, they're ahead of us, right, in time? Yeah, it's got to be What's it? like 8 a.m. there tomorrow, I think. Let's say I see tomorrow, but it's got to be Wednesday there. I think Wednesday at like 6 a.m. maybe. I don't know. Wow. Answer, if you, uh, please, Irene, if you uh, tell us your time, then we'd love to know. I, oh, J- Tokyo, Japan, Suicide Forest. Yes, I mean, yes. I think any, uh, yes, good morning, everyone. Oh, my God, we're talking to someone who's in the future. We're talking to someone who's living in Wednesday, dude. That is pretty killer. Good morning wow. to you. Uh, where I am at 7.54 p.m. Uh, at night, it's 9 a.m. there. So it's only yeah. So it's eight. It's eight p.m. here. That is crazy. Wow. Oh, that's very cool. Wow. And and, J- and, and, J- and Japan's extremely haunted too. I was gonna say, uh, uh, Paul, do you think there's a place on Earth you would go that doesn't have a chance of having a native or, or an old school samurai death or Viking death? I mean, every place is almost tainted slash haunted at this point, right? I would think, except for maybe like deep in the rainforest, I guess, but. But you know what though, I'm sure that I'm sure there's hauntings in in, in the, the rainforest too. I'm sure. You dig aliens? I believe in aliens. Yes. Yep. Any 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 ever just sight or anything? Have I no, no. I look, but I I never see. Hi, Karen. Thanks for chiming in, uh, Karen Timper. 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 
Thanks for joining Temper. in. Hey, Karen. We are 90% haunted in this country. Say, I told <laughs> you. <laughs> I believe it, Irene. I believe it. Um, I think so we should is, America's a baby, dude. America's a baby compared to Europe, right? In Asia. I Fuck, we're, we're, we're untapped. Of course, I mean, there were natives here. But as far as documentation, dude. You were saying castles earlier. You're talking 13, 12, 13, 1400 compared to what, 1600? Here we got 16 and 0. Yeah. England, yeah, London. Like oh, yeah. I would love to hit the castles in, in England, too, man. Yeah. Scotland, England. Scotland, um, check yes. out check out the vineyards. Maybe Venice can go underneath the cities in Italy. Um, yep. you, know, check, you know, check out what's left of the Berlin Wall in Germany. There's chunks of that left, you know. Russia's got old nuclear bomb sites you can check out. Where's that? Yeah. Where's that? Uh, the old uh, fucking Chernobyl, right? You can go check that out. There's like Ferris wheels there that are that no one's around because they got blown up. And um, I really think, man, you can travel. And that's what I'm trying to do. Like I told Heather, if I ever make it big or rich or whatever, I want to make sure I can leave Maine going. I've seen every place I mean I need to see. <laughs> so I got a lot. There's not many left. I've seen so much. I've seen everything from Stephen King's house yeah. to. Pet cemetery sites to when I met Gage last week from Pet Cemetery, the boy that got killed. I'm like, right. I went to the place where you were killed, and I went to your grave site where your dad dug you up. And he's like, Wow, thank you for your dedication. <laughs> yeah, Fuck you, it, right? You've been, you've been all over up there though, in Maine. Try to man. Um, um, Tina and I, we're due to, to go back up northeast. It's beautiful in the fall. I'd love, love all the fall. foliage, dude, with the covered bridges, oh. Paul. You know. Go get a lobster roll by the ocean and go check out some sites. You know we get the Wendigo here. We got Bigfoots. We got UFOs. We got mermaids. We got ghost ships from Bar Harbor seen that had African slaves that, that uh, got shot down, and they all were chained to it. So I went down. You can hear them crying during rainstorms of ghosts. And, oh, good. We started. I'd love to show you around, man. Have a steak with you, I was going to get ready and say that. See, we're in the same way. I thought I was going to say next, like, next spring or something. We will love to drive up and do something with you. Life's too short. Life's too short. You, can, you know, meet once and just figure out. And I mean, we've already bonded on Facebook. We kind of know each other's world. I mean, yeah. just get to, I say it to everybody, open invitation. You come to New England or Maine, dude, seriously, I'm fucking down with the clown. Let's go. Let's hook up. Let's make memories. Let's go find some sites and, and find new ones. This witch is buried, dude. Um, so, so besides the Jersey Devil, shit. Jersey's known for a lot. You guys had massacres there by the boardwalk and stuff, right? Like, wasn't uh, something city? What's what, what's the name of that place by the boardwalk? Something city. Atlantic City. Atlantic City. Isn't that some bad shit too, huh? Yeah. We have Absecan Lighthouse. That that's one of the first lighthouses I investigated years ago. That's extremely Ooh. haunted. That's, Ooh. Yeah. You've done a little bit of everything, brother. Lighthouses, yeah. graveyards, houses, yeah. like. I, wow. I've done businesses and pool halls and I, I've been to, I had a, um, I've been to murder sites and I, I, I've done it all. And it's when you're writing a book. I, I, yeah. I even did TV before it was cool. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Oh, wait, and wait, it, let, wait, me, wait. let me tell you, it's, it's not all cracked up what, what people think, think it is too. It's like, a yeah. lot of that's kind of it's it's a peacock thing. Some people let it go to their head, um, yeah. shit like that. So, yeah. uh, so, so, what was I saying? Shit, I wanted to ask you. What was your? Um... Oh shit, I can't think now. So I get for smoking a joint. That's <laughs> all right. That's all right. Take your um, time. <laughs> Yeah, give me. Well, I was gonna say while we're talking about that, I'd love to have you on my radio show. It's audio only, but that reaches like Mexico. It's based out of Canada, but it reaches Mexico, Britain, UK, Ireland. We get some people. There's a chat there too. Um, Paranormal King Radio. It's called Historically Haunted Show. Like I said, it's audio only on Friday nights. Right. But I'd love to have you on. Maybe you know what? Feel like better, have her just talk. It's audio, it, it, but whatever you want me on, just throw me out some dates. I'll, I'll come back on. Oh, well, I'm gonna get a paragraph. I can't post haunted videos because some people have died watching them or go through you unless they're truly professional in the paranormal world. But I've heard about these videos that are kind of jinxed. Yeah. Um, um, haunted tattoo I mean, parlor. Someone put it in there. That's cool. Yes. Um, so, yes. So Megan asked you what I asked you. Thank you. You should definitely write a book. Is that any thought of you? you, know, a book actually, you, you know, actually, the, actually um, I've started writing a book. It's funny she should ask. 
I'm about 80% done. Uh, I've been working on it for about 14 months. I'm taking my time with it. Um, I, I it, It's basically about uh, Tina and I working together, how we met, uh, some of the cases we worked on, some of the cases she's worked on, some of the cases I've worked on, and some of the cases that uh, Tina and I did with the group. And like I said, if you go on my page, uh, there's some there's some page, uh, photos I have where I got stacks of files like this. Wow. If I could show you, I, I could op- I could open my drawers that I got right here and just pull out like files of stuff. I've I took at least a month, and my dining room table was full of files. I was going through, wow. deciding which one I want to to put in. So yeah, I'm, I'm currently working on a book, but it's it's something I'm taking my time with because I want it right. I don't want to just throw anything out. It's your fucking time zone. It's your time yeah. zone. Your timeline. Yeah. What do you? Yeah, yeah. You're damn right. I mean, I, I was sitting there. Not that I'm honking my own horn, but I, I've done everything. So then, that's why I decided this past since COVID hit. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, Tina. Tina's been sick for a while, so I, oh, I had man. to uh, step back from investigating all that for a little bit. I'm just now starting to get back out. You gotta take um, care. You get. You gotta do. Yeah. You gotta put family first. Yeah. So I'm starting to pair up with one of my uh, good friends, Mitch. We're going. We're going to. As you can see, I'm starting to like post, like the, uh, off of the, um, beaten path places. To uh, I love it. Man, and, after yeah, my own to heart. investigate. <laughs> <laughs> Where to, was that uh, last place you went? You posted something like about a week ago. You went to some place like an old jail or something. Where the fuck was it? I should have did some oh, research. That- Oh, that's um a little red schoolhouse. That's what it was. It was like a little building, but it had like the wood up and stuff. And, like it was very yeah. Yes. That was cute. Yes, that's a, that that's a little red schoolhouse. It's only three blocks away from me. Oh, and it's next to it's next to our police station, and um, it was built in the eighteen hundreds. I'm not exact sure of the date. I would have to go back and look, but it's the eighteen hundred, early eighteen hundreds. And These are the places I would drive be saved. Oh, yeah. I, I kept driving past her. I'm like, I got to stop. I got to stop. I never <laughs> stopped. So, so I decided it was a Sunday afternoon. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go over. If the cops come out and say anything, then I'll leave. But You're allowed a warning, my friend. That's my biggest rule. If there's not a no trespassing sign, you're allowed a yep. warning. I play right. dumb. Oh, I didn't know. I was, I was taking pictures. I'm a paranormal guy. But so, yeah, yeah you got real close. There's, there's some great pictures of that beautiful historical fucking little it's, it's, I couldn't tell yeah. what it was. Very small for a schoolhouse. Look like a little jail yeah. or something. Like a little yeah. post office. But looks, uh, yeah. Shit. Looked like when I looked in, it looked like it would hold about, like, say, maybe 10 kids. It's not that big. Population was small back then. Yeah. Think about it. We didn't have yeah. half the, we didn't have 45 million fucking idiots walking around. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, all right, man. Um, we'll, we're gonna wrap it up. So you guys can check Paul Dixon now. He's on Facebook. He's got a bunch of stuff going on with his I'm also, paranormal. Page. I'm, all, I'm also on Twitter. They can check me out on Twitter. Oh, there you go. TikTok yeah. too. You do that? Not yet. I'm working on that one. I just opened up a, a YouTube page. I don't have nothing on that yet. I'm, I'm on Stay YouTube. Posted. Stay posted. Follow him. Um, if you're a decent, if if you're a decent person, send him a friend request. He may accept it. Don't be a dick because he'll fucking delete you, um, as anybody would. But be cool, be respectful, and check him out because uh, the dude's been around for a while. And I mean that with all respect when I say that because you you know what's up. And when I say a while, I mean in the field, you know what's up. And yeah. um, but I want to tell I mean. you one thing now. I do want to tell you this. I don't. I don't. Uh, Look up to too many people in the paranormal field. Uh, just a handful, and I, I'm going to be honest with you. I do look up to you because I do. I, 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 I love your work, and uh, that's one thing I do. When, before I send, like I take somebody's friend request and all that. If they're in a the paranormal, I check out their work. That's one thing I do check out, and, and your body of work is incredible. I appreciate incredible. that. I try. I try to stay away from the fucking orbs and oogie boogies and stuff and i'm almost more like everybody says you're almost more of an adventurer than you are a paranormal guy which i try to stick with with stuff that's haunting but at the same yeah. time man, i try to bring the truth out and i think that sometimes that's just you know what i mean i don't know right. and and orbs real, real quick about orbs that's a very <laughs> touchy subject 
very touchy. And then when I didn't, when I used to do my lectures, and that's another thing I'm thinking about going back and doing lectures next year. Thanks, Megan. I'm, I'm starting to get back in, into all that again. But uh, yeah, that's a very touchy subject, Forbes. I try to avoid that. Oh, uh, thank Nicole's you, Nicole. Very cool. Thank she's you. Good. She's freaking off. Um, yeah, I mean, I think you can go either way. I'm open to anything, dude. I'm open to hamper. It's like, why, why, why make fun or, or make anybody that's so proud of this picture? Why go? Oh, that's bullshit. That's just bad karma. Just shut the fuck up and move on. Yep. And, and to eat their own, man. I've seen some shit that I can't explain to people. Are thinking, oh yeah, it's an old acid flashback, or you're stoned. So, man, it's like you would say, Paul, you stick to yourself a little bit about it because you you, you got files of answers that people on Facebook don't see because you right. don't need to share your ham and eggs with everybody, right? That's right. a real professional. That's yep. Paul fucking Dixon. Someone you motherfuckers need to know, and I'm glad I do. Thank <laughs> you for coming on. I'll have this well, on welcome. YouTube tomorrow. And um, I'd love to have you on my radio show. And then I work our one-year anniversary on Halloween. And then I'm coming back on Thanksgiving air time. So maybe around the holidays, I could have you back on. Maybe if your wife's right. feeling better or something. Yep. On yeah. here. Throw me some dates, dude. Throw me some dates. I'll come on. Anything okay, I can do so to anything I can do to support you, you can uh, count on me. I got your back. So easy. I, I, got I your tell back. you, there's some people in this field. They're the right one. Some people in this field, if you're friends with them, they're like, oh, follow me. I'll follow you. Like this, like that. Tick for tack so much, it drives you nuts. And some yep. people, it just flows with you. And people just appreciate your company and appreciate what you can do. And Paul's fucking one of them. And when you look back at his page, you're like, this motherfucker's got some good shit, too. He just doesn't go, look what I got, guys. Look what I got, guys. Mm -hmm. So you're down to earth, dude. And that's why I want you on my show. <laughs> Data, so, Data with you, kid. Data with you. Paul, give my best to, you, to, to the missus. And uh, the, whole, the, whole, the whole damn family, the, the, um, your stepdaughter and, and your aunt, God bless. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. And thank you guys right for there. watching this Historically Haunted Podcast. Uh, this was a great episode. Paul, say goodnight to everybody. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, we'll see you in two weeks.